So these days we pretty much all have a cell phone and these are pretty powerful. You can go on the internet, you can watch videos, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You can also trade with your cell phone, which is something that everyone knows of course. But is it a good idea to have your cell phone and trade with it? Is it the only thing you can use to be able to make your living out of trading? I have some thoughts on that, so let's get right in that video. What's up, trying to come back to Bangkok in Thailand? So as I said, is it a good idea to use your cell phone to trade? I'm not exactly sure. There are for sure some pros and cons and whether you use a cell phone to trade and use this to make a living is going to be depending on your strategy, different things. But let me go through what is the advantages of using a cell phone and then we'll go to what makes it not really work well and then how it could work well for some people and how you can apply it better to your trading and use only your cell phone to be able to place trades. First things first, the big advantages of having a cell phone and trading with it is the mobility you have. So you can go in like any country, you can go in any continent, you can go on a boat, you can go anywhere and you can still trade with your phone. You can place trades as long as you have Wi-Fi or some data and you're good to place trades and that is really good of course. Now I began to use my cell phone when I began to travel in 2017 and it, it proved to be quite useful. I would basically do a review in the morning and then look at my chart throughout the day on my cell phone and I would take like a 10 minute thing to look at all the charts on my phone. They were all in a list of pairs I would look at all the time. So it was pretty fast, it didn't take much time to be able to look at the pairs and if needed also place trades. Now the other thing is that you might see the platform on mobile. Back when I began to trade 2013, they were okay, they were decent, you could like place these trades, yeah, these charts were kind of okay. But now they became a lot more powerful. The platform now, they have like pretty much all the tools, all the indicators you might need. And that means that as long as you don't have a custom indicator or like a really like complex strategy, you can look at all the indicators you would have on your laptop or PC without any problem. The other good thing is that a lot of these platforms are more beginner friendly. Like they're pretty much easy to execute compared to a desktop. You have a ton of options, different things, this and that, all these tools. But on your mobile phone when you enter a trade, it's quite simple. There's like a few buttons, a few things, a few parameters you need to know, of course. But the process is quite simple. It's quite easy. So for anyone who didn't kind of learn the whole platform and all the details, placing trades on your cell phone is really fast and really simple. But this is not to say that placing trades on your cell phone doesn't have its disadvantages. First one, Platform, I think, on your cell phone, MT4, MT5, uh, Oanda, FX Trade that I use, they don't really understand the flow of how things go on your phone. You often have to like look at the chart, you open the chart, then if you want to switch pair, you have to go back a few menus, then you have to go forward, then you have to click on that pair again, look at, it, and then if you want to change that frame, you have to open a different menu. So it's not really simple to kind of look at the pair or look at multiple pairs at a time. You can actually like just crawl between pairs and look at the chart one by one as you would do on your platform. For example, on Training View. I'm talking about the web platform here. It's quite easy to move by pair. You just press your arrow on your keyboard and then you can move pair by pair and you can see multiple time frame. Now, try to put multiple time frame on your cell phone. It's gonna be a whole mess. You're gonna see nothing except if you do wicks and candlestick and that's not good at all. Trading on your smartphone is gonna be really hard if you use zones in trading. So if you look at support resistance areas, it's gonna be a pain to use your cell phone because you need to be able to look at the zones for that enable scroll back in time. You could do it a little bit in your cell phone but having this big picture view and noting down and finding out all the zones, it can be really hard if you trade with your cell phone. And the same thing goes, this is my last point for the disadvantages, same thing goes with the big picture view. So I like to see this whole big picture view, which means I like to have like multiple time frame on my chart. Maybe I want to have a four hour chart, one hour chart and a weekly chart or something of a sort. And I like to be able to kind of scroll back and see how the pair is doing on a weekly chart which is something you cannot really see on the mobile. At least I'm not born with a mobile in my hand. I'm not like the kids these days. They might be better at using the cell phone to trade. But for my part, I find it really hard to be able to look at the big picture and also get clarity in my mind with using my cell phone. It's really hard for me. So overall, this leads us with the question of should you use your cell phone to trade? And it's not a clear answer. I believe you can trade with your phone, but you gotta make sure you simplify everything, which means that your strategy should be simple, have only a few key indicators that are really simple, available on all platform. You should be able to kind of pull up your chart and know if you have to trade or not. So what worked well for me in the past is using my desktop to look at the zones in the morning and then using my cell phone later on to just look at the step specifically on the chart. So I would know which pairs are the zone. I will put this down in a notebook. This one is like really too big for me, so it's the only one I have around. But I will just write this on first and then throughout the day if you want to trade with your phone, do it. It's totally fun. You're, you're going to be more able to find a setup, but not the big picture view. And so if you're looking for a setup, a phone works well. If you're looking for a big picture view analysis, then your computer definitely works better. Now if you say you don't have a computer to place trades or you cannot afford it, then make it a goal in your trading plan as you grow and become better that you're going to buy a computer. 
and that's something that's going to be inevitable. Same thing as someone doing videos with buy a camera, same thing as someone racing will buy a better car for time, same thing as someone who plays a game will buy a better computer for time. You need to be able to invest your profit or at least maybe invest up front when you have some momentum in a computer, something allowing you to be able to play straight and you don't need something like fancy. Uh, a lot of people ask me which computer I use, it's a Dell XPS 13 and I'll put the link below in the description. I used to use a Mac before and they work well, I really love Macs. But the issue is that it's really hard to back this and do some algos things without a PC running Windows. So it's up to you. Uh, I'll leave the link below as I said in the description. You don't have to buy this at all. It's I think too expensive for a lot of people and you don't really need that. But get something decent where you can trade, it's not gonna bug, it's gonna be able to kind of allow you to look at the big picture. And then implement your cell phone as well if you want. Make sure you understand the limits of it and make sure that you are able to test it out, see if it works. I tested the cell phone before. It works okay for me in some circumstances. But I prefer to have a computer that I can carry with me all the time, like a small PC, like this one here, 13 inch laptop. And that's just much better for me. So decide what you want to have with that. And that's the point of the video. So hope you like it. Give me your thoughts as always in the comments section. Here are a few comments for the past video. I appreciate you guys leaving comments as always in the comments section. And please share this video with other people who might benefit from it. I want to be able that we maximize the impact of these videos and that people can learn the right things, not the things that most people talk about, but the things that actually get them results. So share this with people, I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you back here for the next video pretty soon. Ciao.